Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera and a very good afternoon to all participants, researchers, our innovators and everyone here today. Welcome to the second edition of the Malaysia Technology Expo 2021 COVID-19 International Innovation Awards Briefing and Presentation Guideline. I'm Noran Zamri and today um, I'm here with uh, our esteemed guests, which I will introduce shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the uh, social distancing and the current pandemic, the MTE 2021 COVID-19 International Innovation Award, second edition, is organized from 14 to the 18 June 2021 on a virtual platform featuring virtual booths and presentations. This virtual event is chaired by an independent awards committee headed by the Malaysia Technical University Network. And uh, before we start the briefing today, we have with us Professor Madia TS Dr. Nozila Uthman Director of Innovation and Commercialization uh, from University Tun Husainon, UTHM, as the award chair from MTON. And followed by later, the briefing will be done by our chief jury, Professor Dr. Wong Tin Wui from the Non Disruptive Biomedical and Pharmaceutical Research Center, I promise, and University Technology Mara. So, without further ado, I would like to invite Prof. Zila to say a few words, followed by the briefing by Professor Dr. Wong. Silakan, Prof. Thank you very much for Noren. Okay, I'm Noor Zila from ICC UTHM. Ah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and a very good afternoon. Welcome to the second round of MTE 2021 for the COVID event. On behalf of MTUN, we are very we are very honored to be able to be chair the second editions of MTE 2021. We hope that today's briefing will be useful to all the participants and bring the fruitful uh, information for you guys. And I hope that everyone could listen to the presentations by Prof Wong. Uh, with that, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. Zila. Um, would like to invite now our Chief Jury, Professor Dr. Wong. Uh, dipersilakan, Prof. All right. Uh, should I share so that I can use my cursor to highlight? Sure. Sure, Prof. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> All right, first of all, I think uh, Puan Noran, can you see the slide and is my voice clear? Everything is clear, uh, Prof. I uh, can see the slide. I would like to inform everyone, if you have a questions, you can type at our Q&A button and later Prof Wong will address all the questions. Yeah, go ahead, Prof. Okay. So thank you. I think uh, today will be the awards briefing and presentation guideline session for Malaysia Technology Expo 2021 <clears throat> on COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. So first of all, I wish to highlight again about the important dates. Uh, the submission deadline is actually 25th May. So we still have a few weeks to <clears throat> polish up the write-up and also the innovation submission entries. The online evaluation will be held uh, between 28th May to 2nd June. And the result will announce uh, during the virtual event on the 17th June 2021. So we have about 17 awards categories uh, building and construction, business model, marketing and branding, communication, economy and employment support, education, government and policy, health and fitness, humanitarian support. ICT, materials and packaging, 
media and entertainment, non-profit and social enterprises, prevention, testing, transport and logistic, treatment, vulnerable groups and community. Now, some of our inventions or innovations uh, may be suited for more, more than one categories. So as such, uh, you can actually uh, join uh, not just one category, but more than one. Yeah. But there are some restrictions about the submission, whereby the submission should not have any nudity, animal cruelty, violence, vulgar words, and other unnecessary or negative elements. Now, each submission must include a synopsis of work or innovation uh, with 200 words in Microsoft Word format, right? And minimum one video, uh, five minutes length, uh, YouTube link is recommended. And minimum one photo in JPEG format, maximum two MB. And we need a PDF copy of 500 words about the detailed written descriptions of the innovation. Right, so these are the criteria for every submission entry. And the judging category is divided into three, idea, tangibles, and youth. So ideas uh, basically refers to uh, innovations that you have in mind, a plan and hypothesis that you have in mind, but has yet to be implemented or executed, right? Whereas tangible refers to products or service innovations that you have already implemented, you have experimented and translated into practice. And youth categories are refers to the younger generations. So what are the judging criteria uh, for ideas and youth category? Now, principally, uh, your submission should address a few uh, important points. Now, first of all, is the idea related to COVID-19? Now, this is very important. If it's totally unrelated to COVID-19, then uh, naturally the innovations uh, will be disqualified, right? And you should also have some descriptions uh, to relate your innovations to COVID-19, be it directly or indirectly. Now, second things that you perhaps you wish to highlight is how critical is your idea in helping the COVID-19 situations of the country or internationally? And third, how new is the idea, right? Compared to uh, the existing prior arts that have been available. And you should also describe about the hypothesis, your plans about the ideas, and what are the expected outcomes that can benefit the society. And you should also address whether the outcome is that commercializable and can it be translated into practice? And better still, if you provide a general business plan or a general implementation scheme that can enable the juries uh, to look at the idea uh, that is uh, translatable uh, for the society's application. And who will be the beneficiary of your ideas, right? So perhaps uh, are they referring to the older generations or general publics, regardless of age and genders? So you must know who are the, the people who benefit uh, from your ideas. And also highlight what, are the, what is the ge geographical skills of the application of your ideas? Is it just the Selangor or Malaysia or Southeast Asia or international or global skills, right? So generally, if your innovation is widely applicable, for example, globally, then uh, the innovation will deem to be more uh, valuable. And what's the impact of your idea from the perspective of healthcare, safety, business, humanity, and others? So you must also highlight about the impact. So it's not just that it can make business, it can be used by the society, but what will be the impact in general, right? And quality presentations, is your visual aids clear, precise, concise, and what is the presentation flow? Are they accurate? So these are the 
general criteria that we are looking into when judging idea and youth category. I wish to share with you idea, although it has yet to be implemented, but it's best to illustrate with the supports of evidence or statistics, right? About its needs for overcoming the COVID-19 hurdles, right? For example, if you are having uh, drugs being discovered, potential drugs being discovered, perhaps you can highlight what is the market. So, so how many people are suffering and needing your medication? Now, any collaboration initiated or perhaps uh, you have planned in your mind, and if you have contacted those company or industry or even university partners, uh, perhaps uh, you can show us the evidence, uh, an email, a letter from them, uh, you know, will greatly support that you actually initiate the thoughts as well as collaboration. Now, what about tangible judging categories? Uh, similar to those of a youth and idea category, your idea must be first related to COVID-19, must be critical, must be new. Now, unlike the idea and youth category, when we look at the idea being new or old, we actually uh, will run through if the innovator have published any articles in ISI and Scopus publication. And do they have any intellectual properties such as uh, patents, utility innovations, copyrights? And do bear in mind that a trademark is being accepted. It is not being accepted uh, for this uh, judging criteria, right? And the idea is that uh, international or nationals uh, applicable. So being internationals, of course, it would be much better. And has the outcome been commercialized or translated into practice, right? So a lot of us may have experimented, but yet to commercialize or translate it into practice. So if you do commercialize your, your system, your innovations, your product and services, uh, do pen it down with statistics and evidences. And who are the end user, customer or benefiting populations of your innovation? So you should actually uh, list it out and if possible with the support of a few good words uh, from your customer and users. And what's the geography scale of application of your outcome, right? International, national, or it just stay within Selangor. So the wider spread it is, the better. What's the impact of your outcome from the perspective of healthcare, safety, business, and humanity? Again, the quality presentations, concise, precise, and accurate, right? Now, visual aids are very important in order to enable the juries to, to look through your submissions, you know, in an easier manner, easy reading, easy to understand. Now, what more important is that if you have any external partnership, now try to provide evidences, right? And also tell us, uh, the usefulness of the outcome. And you are ongoing trying to commercialize or trying to uh, put into practice by the society. Now you can actually share with us the outline of your steps and what are the things that you have been doing in order to succeed the project or succeed the commercialization aspect. I also would like to share some common imperfections of the past uh, innovator. Now, uh, on each uh, uh, matters, I have actually a few cases to show you. You could see that some innovators uh, uh, present in an overly simplified manner. For example, no one realizes the issue and challenges. So if you look at the case two, which is a better way of presenting in accordance to our survey, no one realizes the issue and challenges. But a better way of uh, presenting your data is that if you can give the statistic of your survey, it will be much better, such as those in the case three, whereby you highlight that you have surveyed 200 participants, 100 of them are male, the other 100 is female, then Malaysia has 100 participants uh, answering to your survey and Hong Kong have 50 and so on, right? And of course, 
the case four will be best whereby you indicate that the survey is done in 2020 December, right? Because if you look at the case three, the jury may suspect the survey is done 10 years ago. So if you look at the case four, you have the date stated that will strengthen your presentation as the latest effort for this uh, International Innovation Award. Now, the second imperfections are for those who uh, run study in the animals. Now, the case one, you can see that they say the therapeutic is tested in rats. It's found that the therapeutic success successfully done this and that. But the case two is better in the case that they tell you the sample size and it goes to six. So we are testing on the six rats per therapeutics. Now the case three presented even in a better manner, they tell you the identity, the characteristic of the animals. So the meals are being used, the body weight of each rat is 200 to 230 grams. Of course, case one to three are highly undesirable because the jury may suspect that you have never obtained any ethics and you sacrifice the animal without the ethics clearance. So you look at the case four, it's a more appropriate presentation whereby they highlight the ethics approval number and perhaps the ethics approval date as well so that the animal test uh, is actually legal and professional. Now, in other imperfection cases, uh, case one, we collaborate with Q virus in Diram Berhad, Malaysia. But just by telling the jury that who you collaborate with is not sufficient. Perhaps you should be like case two, you attach the letter of collaborations, the memorandum of understanding, memorandum of agreement, or even a, a letter of non-disclosures would be good, right? Now, case three is even better in the sense that they also highlight that they have commercialized the product and services in Indonesia, Singapore, and Thailand. But this is not enough. If you would like to win, you know, uh, a better grades uh, for this exercise, uh, perhaps you can attach evidences, a letter of correspondence between you and the Indonesian, Singapore, and Thailand partners. So that uh, the entire uh, innovations is well supported by good statistics and good documentation, right? Last but not least, I guess uh, a good video, a very clear, good pictures speaks a thousand words, right? So tries to provide pictures, if possible, statistics, numbers uh, to support the case. So with that, I thank you for your kind attention. So please feel free to ask uh, if you have any questions. Um, hello everyone, uh, Dr. Wong has uh, finished his briefing. We will give a few minutes for everyone to type in their questions now, followed by a short presentation on the online submission and a little bit insight on the awards briefing. Sorry, I mean the awards platform, as well as our uh, uh, sample of uh, booths and a few more things by our Mr. Henley from my uh, IT and event uh, executive. So far, there's no question. So we're just going to give it a few more minutes. Hang on, yeah, uh, Prof? Sure. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, there was one question earlier, which... Uh, um, we have answered. I will just read from the answered one. Okay. Uh, Puan Jana or Dr. Jana Tu Berhanuddin asked, can we exceed 500 words of PDF copy? And as for the pic, if we have lots of pictures, can we put in PowerPoint and make short description or just a link consists of pictures? So we have answered that additional upload that you wish to show to the judges, you may upload it at the bottom which additional file uh, can be uploaded. And yes, you may put in PowerPoint file and then upload. It's always better to have more supporting documents and more information for the judges. We have answered that. There's one more open question from uh, uh, Puan or uh, Dr. Uh, Sharo Baria. Do we need to submit a poster 
which covering of introduction, objectives, methodology, and etc. Thank you in advance. Would you like to answer that, Prof? Uh, I guess that in our submission criteria, we do not uh, indicate poster, but if they wish to submit a poster, which we can categorize it under photos, and I believe the jury will also run through the poster. Yeah. So that may further enhance the so-called understanding of the jury. It can be a good alternative. Okay. Uh, as we go along, we will later still answer the uh, Q&A. Prof, do you mind if uh, we put Henley uh, presentation now? Yeah. Uh, would you be able to uh, still stay with us? Yeah, I can stay with you. Okay, thank you, Prof. Henley, if you are ready, yeah. you can take over now. Yeah. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, Henley will start now. Thank you. Uh, you all can hear me, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so this is the online submission platform where you will be uh, putting your submissions on. Over here in the category, which will be uh, MTE 2021, uh, COVID-19 edition. And then for the subcategory will be uh, of the 17 subcategories and each one your uh, innovations will correspond to. After that, this will be your admin uh, contact name. This would be the name for your facilitator or uh, administration, administrator to uh, submit for you. And on this, uh, for this name, it will not be on the certificate. It's just that if you require a facilitator to submit your submissions for you. And followed by the inventor's name, which is the team leader's name, secondary contact name, and the other 15 members of the team. If you have more than 15 members, you may actually uh, put over here like John Smith and then uh, put a comma and share or whatever names extra you have. And the term or conditions for the names is uh, when we print the certificates for your innovations in the, after the event, gold, silver, bronze or merit awards, we will print according to the names that are over here. Any additional names after the submission has closed will not be uh, entertained after that. But if uh, you made a spelling mistake, you can still correct that for you. Okay. But uh, if you made, made the spelling mistake wrong over here and you print the cert, you may have to do an additional order to correct that. Other than that, uh, the name of your organization, which is your university or company name, the address so that we may send your certificates uh, to you after the event, the co admin contact uh, email so that we may send any information needed such as uh, quotations and whatnot. The team leader and secondary contact email address. This is for us to uh, contact the team leaders in case we need some questions uh, based on the submissions that you have made. Other than that, the judges might contact you by this uh, email addresses if they need more information about your products and innovations. Same with the phone numbers and the team leader phone number, the office and the secondary. The judges might contact the team leader if they are not sure about certain parts of the innovation. If they are unable to reach the team leader, they'll contact the secondary contact person. And this is the title that exactly on how the how you want your innovation to appear on the certificate. And this is just for us to, uh, how you say, judge how your innovation is. So if your innovation is a model or prototype, you will take it as such. It's a multi-take, so you can choose a multiple different categories. And over here, for your innovations and uh, inventions, uh, technical features, uh, 500 words or rest for the judges to uh, have a summary on your innovation. And for promotional purposes, we'll write uh, the title of innovation that you wish to showcase on your promotional materials. A short description that is 200 words or rest. And uh, this is for judging and also for promotional. We submit a video ring showing of your product. This one, uh, we re recommend around 10 minutes and to have 
the technical specs of your innovations and to show off your innovations. Not much of a uh, fewer content, just the important parts for the judges and also pictures for your innovations. And this is the additional uh, attachments upload. So as just now the question, if you have more pictures that you like to put, but uh, you, have, you have more than four uploads, you may put it in a PowerPoint and upload it. Or the other thing you can do is uh, you can open a Word document and then you can write a link to a Google Doc and then you can put your stuff inside the Google Doc. The more information you have here is better for the judges so that they have more information to judge your innovations. And finally, a uh, decoration, which is uh, make sure that all your innovation documents are authentic. You do not infringe the IP of uh, other innovations. Also that uh, all the information you have given us, we may use it to promote for promotion purposes. And we may also for local innovations promote on the uh, Mastix Tagmark platform over here. And we will not be liable for any, uh, how you say, uh, plagiarism involved in your innovations. Okay, uh, that's it for the online submission form. I will move on to uh, just a brief outlook of the platform uh, booths and storefront. So the platform would look something like this. This is actually our MTE 2021. So the design might change a bit, but the listing for the exhibitions and booths are almost the same. For the booths, uh, for example, of a booth is like this where it shows your uh, corporate branding for your booth. You may have a video for your corporate video and then the context for your uh, organization. So you might push this to call the contact person uh, placed by the organization. You may WhatsApp the person in charge, have a video meeting and uh, send an inquiry. Other than, the, other than that in the booth, there will be a uh, brief description on the organization. And this is the store fund. Each innovation will come with a store fund. And the store fund is sort of like a mini booth that just shows off your innovations. So you can actually contact the innovators directly by WhatsApp, video call, or you might send an inquiry. And when you open it up, yes, the entire description of the innovation, complete with the innovation video, photos, and brochures. And finally, the last thing I would like to share is uh, the technical manual. After you have finished, uh, you have finished uh, confirm your participation with us, we will send you this technical manual that would uh, say the important things such as who to contact in case of emergencies for the booth, uh, who are in charge of the chair awards, the important dates, and then the forms that you need to fill up. Also in this technical manual are the booth designs for different packages. Right in standard package, your booths will look like this. In the business uh, package, your booths will look like this. And then in the premium package, your booths will look like this. And also some, uh, how we say, examples of the online platform, but the design will be changed for COVID. This is for MPE 2021. The forms that you have to fill up for this manual is for the organization listing for our show guide, which will have your organization uh, details, description of organization and products. And the other thing you have to fill up is the backend access, which will, so that we can uh, give you the access to put your information onto your booths and store funds where, so that the show will be live. Okay, thank you. Okay, everyone, that's a very brief uh, explanation from Henley. Uh, we have shared our contact uh, email at the chat group. Please do contact myself, Noran at Protem Group, or Henley at Protem Group if you have further questions on the platform, on the uh, uh, how to upload 
uh, on the submission online and also the technical manual soon as you have made decision or confirm your participation. Now, I would like to invite again Prof Wong to address there's about three questions in the Q&A uh, button. I can see from the okay. online system. So okay. perhaps the first question uh, is about uh, can we participate using new design without IP protection? So uh, if the new design is ideal, uh, perfectly fine, or if a new design under tangible category, uh, then I will advise you, uh, perhaps you can work with your research management center uh, to ask them for possible support in future uh, for the IP application. For example, maybe next year you would like to apply IP, then uh, hopefully the RMC support you with a letter and you should showcase the letter in the video so that the jury will know that you are working with RMC of your institution and they are supporting your idea, right? And the second question is, uh, hi there. I think I can answer the second question. Yeah, could you share? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for the online submission form for the award system, I would send it to you by uh, email after this. Uh, we actually have your email address after you join this uh, session. So I will email you the link to uh, submit the form. Okay. Yeah, uh, Dr. Wong, back to you. Right. So the, hold on, uh, the last question is content of the video shall include technical aspect of innovation only or open to participant preference to include such as idea product development stages. Right. Now, just now I have uh, shown you the slide which will be shared with you uh, by ProTem. So the video should include everything, meaning that is the idea new, is the idea critical, what is the impact, geography scale of applications, and, and many other points and criteria that I've, I've highlighted just now, right? And you have any partner with you, you have commercialized, if you have uh, translated into practice, have implemented in the society, you should include everything in the video with the support of evidence and also statistic. Now, just now the candidate asked, uh, what if they have not applied the IP? So perhaps uh, you have to work with the RMC and to seek RMC support to see if this will support you in the future for IP application. If so, ask them for a letter. And for those uh, who join the tangible category if you have the Scopus Index journals or ISI journals then you can actually flash it in the video right in a part of the slide or in one of the slide so that the jury know that your idea has been accepted lately and definitely when you are accepted for publication your idea will tends to be considered new or novel so so these are the few things that uh, uh, you need to bear in mind when you submit the entry. So a lot of uh, positive evidence and statistics can be presented in the video. Okay, so, thank you, Doc. I think uh, we still give a few more minutes in case there's more questions right. while waiting for more questions to come uh, in. We would like to share that the deadline has been extended uh, to 25th of May 2021 to give way to the Hari Raya break and everyone is preparing their uh, submission and innovation. If you still have problem on the deadlines, do email us and we will try to assist case-to-case -case basis provided it's approved by our award chair. Yeah? So I hope everyone now will not have any problem with the deadline. But if you do, uh, write to us an email. We will then try to assist case-to-case -case basis provided approved by the award chair. Uh, there's one question from uh, yes. Jin. What about chapter, accepted book chapter? Yes. Uh, do, uh, how shall I say, submit in? So that to show that the book chapter is related to your ideas. So in a way, it can help us to, you know, to judge 
how new is the invention? Yeah. Uh, the new design should have a proof or a letter that the design or product will be IP applied. Yes, let's say you have yet to apply any IP. You do not have any patent, utility, innovation, or copyright. So what you could do is to seek the RMC, yeah, uh, whether they will support you in IP application in future or not. If they do, you can ask them for a letter and do present the letter at least in the video so that the jury understand that you have made an effort, right? And the jury also understand that the RNC uh, committee has supported and will be supporting you also in the future. Now, let me show the slide about the next questions. Communication and ICT. There are a lot of overlapping. Hence, that's why we allow the participant to submit more than one category. Right? If you look at the ICT, uh, we define as information system that provide healthcare, safety environment, governmental instruction, and others. And of course, the ICT can be a part of the communications, right? Whereby you actually uh, create a system uh, for communication like, like the app system, whereby the doctor communicate with the patients or between the healthcare professionals. Yeah. So it does have some overlapping and you are free to select one or more. <clears throat> uh, Professor Wong, there's one question mentioning, I think from Cik Muhammad, I can only see Muhammad, asking, will it be any presentation online requested by judge? So um, would you like to answer that or you will, I can also uh, help to answer? Will there be any question? Will there be any presentation online requested by a judge, by the judges, by the juries? Commonly, they will not request. I think commonly they will, they may be calling them or emailing them to make some clarification, right? Yeah. 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 So it's not, it's not compulsory for the judge to call uh, all participants and uh, it's not compulsory to have a presentation online by the judge. However, judges might be contacting you to clarify your invention. Certain things they want to know more, they want to uh, understand extra about what you have presented, they will be emailing you first, then call. Some of the judges will be international judges, so time due to the time difference, they will first uh, email you, then only call. Yeah? yeah. Thank and you. Again, I wish to emphasize about the video. You can see that under tangible or under idea youth judging categories, uh, in those video, you should try to have all the criteria answered. Yeah. Then supported by number, supported by photos, supported by schematic diagram, that will make the entire presentation clearer. Yeah. Everyone can still email uh, Noran and uh, Henley. And if there's an urgent request, you can also text us at the mobile uh, numbers that I have put on the uh, online chat. So, uh, so far there's no more question. We would like to take this opportunity uh, to thank uh, Prof Zila from uh, UKHM Tone, uh, Prof Dr Wong and Henley, as well as all participants, researcher, innovators that have uh, spent their time to uh, sit in this presentation. Uh, thank you very much and good luck to everyone. Selamat Hari Raya. Thank you. Thank you.